the depth of the cut is, uh, is exactly the distance between the teeth and the rib so uh, I can cut until it stops. before you get to the vice jaws you don't want to damage your don't want to damage your saw the tang of the knife is uh, is actually thicker than the uh, saw blade the other saw blade so uh, I'm having to widen this a bit too Getting there, still a little bit too close. Just using my pocket knife, like a draw knife. I want to bring this. In down touching the so it comes to a sharper edge when it gets to the tang A little bit more. A little more off the top here. Just so it looks the same as the other side.
was going to drill new holes in the tang, but uh, this tang has actually been hardened. The rest of the blade, this is not very often done, but uh, this one is, so I'm going to have to uh, drill fresh holes. I hope I get them in the right place. Make any mistakes, you can always fill the holes in with beeswax. It's what they used to do in the old days. Oh. Uh, my old bed as a kid in our 18th century house. Uh, I found something soft on the headboard one time and started picking at it with my fingernails, as kids do. And uh, learnt later that's what it was, it was beeswax. Filling in a hole in the headboard. about that, eh? Hey? Kiss, eh? Hey? These are old uh, hand forged nails I'm going to use. They've even got like um, little rose heads on the top of them. So that's good. Might just push one in and help hold it there while I do the next one. Good one. 